I think we're going to get quite a lot done this episode because I feel like this area that we've just arrived in is lower than the area we've been to before. So I want to start off with fighting this Titan. The big crab we just walked past. Oh, we can actually fast travel there. Oh, you can fast travel to watchtowers. I did not know this. Right, so what I think is we'll open up with Pikachu. Because I think the crab is going to be water, maybe. Then again, why is it in the desert? I mean, Gyarados is a safe bet. Crab. We'll open up with Pikachu. I think Pikachu will be able to beat him anyway. Possibly. Yeah, I think... I think so. Come on then. Let's just give it a shot. Come on down, big boy. Oh, he's running away. Look at the state of this guy. Why are you running? What's on here? Any loot? No mad loot. I want a John Cena room. It's John Cena! Alright, big boy. I think he's. See what it is. I've just realised something. I've just realised something. I'm a bit of an idiot. He's obviously made of rock. So we picked the worst Pokemon for the job. Then again, this is effective. Let's go, baby. Maybe he's like a mixture, water and rock. Or is lightning good against rock? I don't know how it works. Oh no! L wow! Lightning is good against rock, but it's not good against ground. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna murder this guy horrifically. You dead, mate? Oof! Big damage! Come on, let's go get him. Titan Claw began eating something. Scott, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. It's going to be even stronger now after eating those herbs. We probably should have saved the crystalline. Let's watch ourselves. But we've got to, we've got help from him. He went Super Saiyan. Let's. Oh, we can t we can still terrestrialize. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a helping hand. Feel the thunder. Boosh, big damage. And it's paralyzed. Get wrecked. Nice. Pika pee. Didn't even use any good. Oh, that that worked. Water gun destroyed it. So it's weak against electricity and water. Rock, rock Pokemon. Are. Titan cloth. Well done, Pikachu, you absolute legend. Now, hopefully we get a new upgrade so we can traverse some different... Um, different landscapes and shit. Alright, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I don't know, like having something so tough out to get me. 
I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look before it comes back. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it. Oh! It really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. You and Arvin found the sweet herb mystica. We did it, thanks God. Now then, let's see, what does this book have to say? It says that we have the sweet herb mystica. It's good for good health and it helps aid digestion. This is great for stomach aches too. I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Scott? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. He's trying to feed me stuff, but I'm just going to keep feeding it to my Pokemon. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. And it comes with the side of Titan Badge as a token of my gratitude. Is this guy trying to poison us? Maybe he is. I, I, don't, I don't know what his game is. <laughs> Alright bro. Oh come on you again. Sniff sniff. Do you want to give your sandwich? Yes I do. Mad gains. It's trying to say thanks or something. Well good thing I made extra. You'll help me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely kid did not make extra so Koraiden could have a sandwich, okay? Yeah, you did. This Pokemon's gonna be the most powerful Pokemon in the land. Koraiden will be able to dash now. Oh, we can dash mid-air dash maybe? Oh, if we can mid-air dash, we might be able to clear the waterfall in the psychic region. Man, these Herba Mystic are really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they would better or else I'll really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that! This isn't for you! Got told off, poor thing. Sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Scott. Come on out, bud, yeah. Oh, he's got a big dog. Well, my stiff. My boss stiff. My dick stiff. Oh, it's old. There you go, bud. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He nearly... He never really recovered. Have we tried a Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. My boss stiff here is the only thing in the world to care about, the only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better whatever it takes. I searched online and read the books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. What is that book? I found it in my mum's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigour when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica. However, before we could harvest the herbs, they were eaten by Pokemon which in turn grew large and strong, called Titans. It's the book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody usually would believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my bow sticks paws were cold as ice before he ate the last herb, but they have warmed. Up a little now, I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Oh, he's still tired. C can you see? Are your eyes open? I did it. It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes, I was so worried. Oh man, I'm so, so glad I could help. Oh, look at them. Those fiery orange little eyes, hard to even tell they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs are amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm going to bring Mass Bow Stiffs back to full health, I swear it. Uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go, let's find them together. Yeah, we need to get a bit stronger before we can fight the... the massive elephant in the desert. That was... 
That was one-shotting us. Hello, Scott. This is Sarah. I detect that Coriden has regained more of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Nice. By pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon luring up on the branches will fall down. Okay. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Coriden. Right, let's give this a shot. Yeah, I think we can we can cover some good ground with this. Nice. Okay, time for the gym. Pump up the jam, pump it up. Let's find out what type of gym this is first. So we can arrange our party. Right. Grass gym, okay. So what we need is... Bubble. Your second. Yeah, I think we should be good to go here. There it is. There she blows. Look, it's got a um. Is that a play park in the back? What's the test going to be this time? I kind of miss the old gyms where you just had to fight a load of people to get to the gym master and then fight them, but does it normally give you a few tactics like if you if you start if you you're fighting a creature type that you're not really familiar with, you learn how to fight them and what they're strong and weak against by battling the minions. But we don't really have that here. Hey Scott, it's me. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously, I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Hey, there you are. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to challenge for sure. But like, just to be safe. You probably, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Let's do it. Now let's go. Yeah, cause she's got grass Pokemon, hasn't she? The battlefield awaits. Before you take it on gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. Really? Scott, look at your face, and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I start introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hopefully she puts the... She won't. She'll put the grass Pokemon out last, I bet. It's a practice run for your next gym battle. Come up with everything you've got. It's level 21. We're going to destroy it. Let's just crystallize. It's gonna get murdered regardless. Check out my chandelier, bitch! See ya. Oh, Pikachu leveled up. Poor me. That's electric. It's gonna get murdered. Hoo -hoo -hoo, baby, baby! <laughs> Agility. The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. This sharply boosts its speed stat. Nah. Don't want it. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet. My next Pokemon's going to turn the tables. Wrong. It's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. It's grass. Since you have a Terra Orb too, we can both Terra our Pokemon. 
fair and square. I thought your enemy in all the Pokemon games normally pick the Pokemon that you're weak against, but it's opposite in this. Let's try out that new move of yours, use Magical Leaf. Dog shit. Mate, watch this. See ya! Nice move, your skills sure are alright man. Oh, nice bubble leveled up. Perfect. Yup, your skills are ripening quick. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Well, that was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Yeah, take these to thanks. Three full heals. I'll challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. And let's battle next time we run into each other at a gym. And Scott? I hope you get even stronger, like way, 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 way stronger. Yeah, she likes a strong man. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Yeah, she's definitely got something for us. All right, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Question. I did, oh, that was something I wanted to, I was wondering about there. Oh, wait there. But we've got full health, so that's good. Oh, there was something I really wanted to figure out. But I forgot. Right, come on, we'll just continue. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what it is now. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name's Scott, yes? Great, now in order to face gym leader Brassius, you need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing the game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember those these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn and you'll pass the test. I'll register the Sunflora lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out of here and have fun. Yeah, I wanted to see if we can... Can we, like, remove the hat? Because... Like, what's the point of choosing a hairstyle and stuff if we're always going to wear this hat? That's what I've been thinking about for a while. I just don't know how to do it. Maybe if you find a shop with a different hat. Oh, here we go. I don't really know what we're doing, actually. Yeah, I'm ready to gather some Sunflora. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Oh, okay. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora, please, please bring them back here. Well, there's one. Oh, okay, it's not a real one. Are they a Sunflora? Oh, okay, I know what we're looking for now. I see you, baby. That's four. Oh, the mischievous little beggars. Ah, oh, look at him hiding there. He nearly got away. Got him. See ya. Three more.
There's definitely going to be one up here. I can hit. Gotcha. What? It wants to fight me. Bro, you're going to die hideously. Eight. There will definitely be one over here. Oh, there it is. There's two actually. Nine and ten. I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, that looks like a children's play park. There's probably some in there actually. Passed with flying colours. We even managed to incinerate one of them for fun. Well done on finding all these on Flora. You passed the gym test with flying colours. Now head back to the lobby to report your result. Right, this is it. Boss time. It's going to be dead easy. Here at the test. You earned the right to challenge the leader. Best of luck. I am. Let's go, baby. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Greetings, Challenger. Who does this guy? Is this guy gonna do like a fucking triple front spin face plant off there? Hmm. He, well, he kind of did. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding the sun flora was truly, oh, how shall I describe it? Fascinating. Avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Boom, 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 boom. I trust that you are ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape. He's got, a, he's got a hose, he's gonna water his plants, that's hilarious. Gym leader Brassius. Pet little. Got some bad news for you. Otter's creation and destruction. Well, you're about to see some destruction. Terrestrialize! I want to see them charcoal! Feels bad, man. What level was it? Yeah, it's gonna be low level. We definitely did the harder area first before we came here. Small live. Small of? It's a small of. Level 16. <laughs> In all fairness. We would have probably one shot these guys anyways, even if we were about the same level, because they're weak against our main Pokemon. So I don't think we've really missed out. This has promise, yes, let us lead this artistic endeavour to its conclusion. Sudo Voodoo. Looks like a pepper army. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I call it truly voodoo. Voodoo you voodoo bitch. Oh, we didn't even one-shot him, that's a shame. Oh, it had Endure. That's why. At times, art becomes a race against the clock.
That's what we need. We need a Pokemon that has Endure. Because they're really powerful. If I can get a Sudo Wudu, I'll try and get one. It's best to have a Pokemon with Endure that has some sort of status effect or ability to sleep an enemy because you can use it on like a really tough enemy and then just let it die um, but still get your move off. Avant Guard! Guy's raging. Thought it was Picasso. He's not so he's going to have to cut his ear off. Oh what artistic tactics you employ? Well it wasn't really art, it wasn't really any sort of tactics other than maximum damage. Patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labelled as such. You're chatting shit, mate. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Thing is though, since we've beat this guy, are we going to get the ability to command high level Pokemon or not because we skipped it and went somewhere harder, you know what I mean? If you possess three gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up level 35. Okay, so it's just the quantity of badges you get, not who you actually beat. Fair enough. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favourite of mine, Trailblaze. The user attacks suddenly as if leaping out from a tall grass. Bro, it's a, it's a, it's a flasher. We've just learned the flasher's move. Yeah, what do you think of this? This uses nimble footwork, boosted speed stat. My inspiration is overflown, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me, farewell. Pardon me, hello. Oh, it's her again. The woman with the nice hair. You just defeated Gym Leader, yes? And your name's Scott, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yes. This is what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I'm Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organisation that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Okay, now what is the plan next? Is this a gym leader? Fire cruise base. Okay. We can do this. Go and defeat a fighter crew. What we'll do is actually we'll head here first. We'll get that as a destination then we'll head there. We'll attack some things on the way to it. Are there any shops here? What a nice town. I was looking for claws. That's a barber's. I'm not really that bothered. I like the sunset. Come on then, charge! Oh look, the light's over there! That's awesome, are we headed to... I don't think we're actually headed there. Oh, we've got this on the map now, that's good. Let's beat these guys up. Eh, 
actually want to see if I can catch this. What level is it? Level 19 Cyclozor. Eh, uh, we'll just kill it. They're quite common, I thought it was a rare creature, but... Oh my god, it's hard. How the... Incinerate is not very effective, but yet it did more damage. Still pretty decent XP. Oh my god, we're getting attacked by everything that's... So yeah. There. Oh, it's our mate, Professor. Ah, it's you, Scott. Clive? Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Scott, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted at the Operation Starfall. What's your end game? Tell me. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star, and what's causing this member's odd behaviour? Situation. Team Star is a subject of more than a few nasty rumours swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they hold up in the bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumours. The matter I'm directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much set foot inside of a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that they should, should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution and expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone, I couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Whisper. Another time then. Be careful. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? It's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss you to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution, I'll be in touch. Right, we need to check. What type is this? Fire. Fire type. So. We're actually quite weak against fire, funny enough. So what we'll do is. I'll take my fire so it's just. We're just. Not like default. No strengths towards one another. Apart from Garados. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come and get you in self defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, alright then. Time for some self defense. It's weird. Time for me to self defense the snot right out of you. Okay. I doubt it. Go on, big girth. I'm gonna give you the length. Yeah, baby. What even is that? A fire dog.
You're already dead. I'll make sure I die. Overkill that, that was massively overkill. You only had one Pokemon. I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Hey, Scott. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Fufum. What? Oh, look at that. Fufu. Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos, the Shark Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within the ground. Wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Scott. I see you dealt with the Grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. <laughs> Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way though her methods are heavy handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to kick out the phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shader squad off the map. And hopefully when we go in, we get healed up. I think we do. Yeah, this guy heals us, that's pretty cool. Some kid lured, looked out on beating our sister squads. Now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot gang. Let's show this gay crusher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, gay crusher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Not gonna be a problem. Right, so hold on. Heal me. Yes. Just make sure everyone's in tip top. Let's go. You're getting murdered, son. Oh, they are getting murdered horrifically. Come to Papa. Three left. So yeah. Only problem is I hope my Pokemon get healed here because he's got half health, poor little bastard. Our defenses are breached, it's all up to the boss now. They've all got cars. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us so we'll beat you down, that's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Wrong. Garados is going to tear you limb from limb. 
You are challenged by Mela of Team Star. Let's dance. Right here, right now, you're going down. Well, actually, you're going down to Chinatown. How do you feel about that? Killing water. I'm gonna cool this this turtle's back volcano down. Going to chill out. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Baby, baby. That was for the rest of the Shader Squad. Well, I have to do better than that, bruh. Right, now we've got to beat the car. Rev... Rev a room. I ain't burnt to a crisp just yet. Oh, the car's actually... Oh, it is... It is weak to this. Level 26. Massive damage. Gyarados is the only Pokemon we need. It's the best Pokemon out of the whole. Like, just, it's just the best Pokemon hands down, isn't it? Added burn. Get wrecked. Oh, it's got a speed boost. Go on, critical hit, critical hit. It's got a funny's hair of health left. You're dead, bruh. Lovely jabbly. Pathetic. Uh, is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charka debt to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Stormmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. L Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Or oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess, you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Eri. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big boss? What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with us. Sorry, they already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time. Her oh, man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had and now I'm sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Gyarados of yours really let us have it. Yeah, it did. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here. Take the star badge and be proud of yourself. Yeah, hopefully she walks away and we get to see it, right? Because she walks like a dog walks if you put shoes on it. Watch her legs. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so t here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. My guy does not seem happy to be shaking her hand. She must have slimy hands. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge. Okay, that might be good for Bubble. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks the target. Then, building up momentum, the user boosts his speed. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Gyarados. Look at the way she walks, she's an idiot. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. 
You're Miller from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Who are you supposed to be? Whoa. A Charcadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wants to visit you? Charlos. To me, it looks like you're saying that he wants you to come back. You should it already, would you? They say Team Stars hold itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumour like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about the modified car you were motoring around in just now? Starmobile? We made that a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? No, not Operation Starfall. No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Well, that's it. So we're learning the story like bit by bit. This guy, Cassiopeia, might actually be the bad guy. Scott, it's me. I take it that Miller's star badge is now in your possession? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shader squad shouldn't last long. Mella. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to you, phone as promised. You can now make more kinds of TMs. It's me again, mate. Give me the goods. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, stop that. Somebody help. Romy thing just like licking you, you got a problem. It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Before I forget, here's your reward. Your name's Scott, right? I've told you twice. Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumours say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Yeah, I, I think somebody's done something to them to make them that way. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. Yeah, it makes sense. It's going to be some sort of, like, feel-good story in it. All these wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't normally talk this much. Now, my throat kind of hurts. Mate, my throat kind of hurts as well because there's so much dialogue I've got to narrate. Good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Whew, okay. Out of curiosity, what's in these bases once we beat them? Is there anything good? Nah, it's just the open area. Right, so what has that even unlocked for us? Well, the next person is her. Electric. The ground type's going to be good against her. We don't really have any ground type because I don't like ground type. I think we'll just power through her with our... Obviously, we can't use Gyarados. But let's head this way. I wonder what the question mark is. Yeah, let's head to that. That looks awesome. 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, I'm stuck in the water. I wait there. Let's think. I want to fight this thing. Right, I'm going to rest up and I want to fight that uh, raid Pokemon. See if it's any good, we might catch it. Was it this way? Yeah, it was. Right, keep an eye out for that crystal. There it is. Oh, maybe it's not that one. Yeah, baby! Oh, it's a shiny... Oh, it's just a crystalline dog. It's not even what I wanted. Hey, well, let's fight it. I'm just going to murder it. I'll see if I can capture it, maybe. It's fire as well, so we should do massive damage. Which I don't want to do if I want to capture it. Level 24. We might one-shot this. Growl it. Go on then. Nice, we got it. I'm not going to use it, but we've got one. Oh, you get LP for catching those. Take this thing down. It looks ridiculous. It's only one star. It's going to be some sort of grass Pokemon, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's it's just one of them daft things. There's actually no point in catching it. A hop it. Cool, big damage. Uh, I'll catch it. Fuck it. Why not? Sometimes it's good to catch low level Pokemon so you can like craft them to the way you want it, like with the skills and stuff. Hey. There's another one over there. I'm gonna go to. Oh, Hoppet can fly as well. Grass flying. That's actually pretty interesting, so we wouldn't need to carry fire Pokemon with us. Oh, we can't get back over there. Never mind, let's head to the city. Bright lights in the city. We'll get this fast travel point and I want to investigate over there. Levincia. Oh no, 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 no.
East Province area too. Let's see how hard these things are. They are okay damage wise. You can normally tell how hard something is by the experience you get, they're actually not bad. Let's see what this is. Oh, they're the water diglets. Oh, there's a slow poke. Mate, I love slow pokes. We might have to capture it. That's gotta be a coffin. Coffee. Oh, it's a ghastly again. Why does it keep giving us the same Pokemon? I don't understand. Get wrecked. Now we'll not catch this, we've already got one. What I would like to do is let's go out in the ocean and see if there's any high level creatures. Oh, there's something shining over here. Oh, I didn't know those were like creatures. So yeah. What the hell is that? This is going to be a high level in it. Toxapex. Let I want to see if I can capture that actually. Now nah, we'll use bite. Although I did lower its attack. The damage and it paralyzed his bruh. Oh, it's got recover. This is a quite quite a good Pokemon actually. Jesus Christ. Right, we're gonna have to get the um, Pikachu out. I don't know if we can beat this. But I'll try. It's like 10 levels, 11 levels higher than me. What the fuck? It's not a water Pokemon. Jesus wept. It doesn't affect it. Bro, this Pokemon's like fucking wild. It's just body slamming me into oblivion. Maybe fire? We'll try fire. Imagine I have to use physical moves against it. 
I'm gonna try incinerate. Nah. Nah, we'll just keep using incinerate. We seem to be doing equal damage to each other. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, recover. Bro, recover is such a bullshit move. I love it. We need to get, we definitely need this Pokemon in my team. It's got some good moves. Although we won't be able to use it until we beat the next gym member. And we're not going to be able to beat this guy. It's just ruined my day. <laughs> Run away. That just ruined my whole party. Right. Let's heal back up now. I'm going to go in the water and see what level the water Pokemon are. Let's see if we can capture something big. We'll get Pikachu out on the lead. Let's swim quite far out. I'm tempted to catch a slow poke. Oh, look at that turtle. Bro, I want this. A dreadnought. Ah, it's, it's only level 22. Don't really care. Wait, slow poco? Hey, my brother. What level? 23? I'll capture it. Oh shit, I murdered her horrifically. Sorry, bruh. Try that again. There's a Gyarados. Oh, where's the slow pokes at? There's gotta be something good on this island. Hello. That's a big boy. Oh, that is common. He looks like a beast. Grass pledge. Right, let's fight this dude. Gonna be high level, any? Level twenty eight, killer what roll? Oh, it's a um, thunderbird. Thunder, it's a thunderbird. Right, uh, it's gonna absolutely murder me horrifically unless I switch Pokemon. All I'll do is get one more hit and we'll be able to capture it. 
Oh, I killed it! <laughs> Massive XP though. Just what we want. Flamethrower, yes. 90 power. We should get rid of Ember. Awesome. Even more powerful fire moves. I lo love it. Nothing else really exciting on this island though. Let's check out this shiny thing first. I'll challenge it. Two stars, so it's not going to be too hard. Oh look, it's 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 King Pri. Is it though? It is. It's a Cacnea. Come on then. Chilling water is effective on a Cacnea, is it? I don't think it is. Crunch, it said crunch wasn't very effective. Bro, I didn't half his health bar. Yeah, we don't need it. I'm just out of curiosity, where are we actually headed here? Oh, we just ended up back down here. Fair enough. Right, I want to head back, try and catch a slow poke, and then we'll end the episode. That thing's ridiculously hard. Hey, my brother! It needs to be a man as well. It's a female, it has to die. Yeah, she took that like a champ, didn't she? The girth leveled up. Where my brother's at. Bruh. It must be pretty rare then. Not showing up too much. Oh, King Prick's nearly leveled up to 30. I wonder what causes things to like respawn in. Is this a random chance? Whoa, big big XP from these guys. Guard us a torsion. That's what you need to find, you know. A groups of enemies that your Pokemon can just torture. 
See, they're not very good. Oh, this daft little bird wants to fight us. A rookie D. No oh, thanks. Low poke. Oh, there's one. Come on, it's got to be a man. I'll make sure not to hit it very hard. It's a female again. There's another one. Own tempo. Right, this is the one we want. We can't kill it. Right, good, 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 good. Now let's capture it. I need to buy some more pork balls. Hopefully it stays in. Yes, it's too lazy to climb out. Bro, we might have to add this to our team, if I'm honest with you. Slow and dopey, it takes five seconds for it to feel pain, so it is water type. I didn't think slow poke was water type. I think we can add it. Give it a nickname. I don't know what I want to call it yet. If I was going to add it to my party, who would I get rid of? See, this is a tough one. Who would I get rid of? Possibly Bambino. Let's have a look what moves it's got. I don't think it, it might not be very good, you know. Oh, you can get it to forget moves, remember moves. Oh my god, you can get it to remember moves. No way. No way you can do that. Shut the front door. Oh my god, I didn't know you could do that. Lads, I didn't know you could get it. Because in other Pokemon games, once you didn't learn a move, it was it was like dead. Sparks 20 out of 20. Oh, this is amazing. So wait there. Damage for four to five turns. Ryan, this moves power is double if the target's HP is at half or less. Waterfall, waterfall's 80. I'm going to learn waterfall. Shit, I didn't know you could do this. Get rid of tackle. That's amazing. Shit, the bed. What about this? That hasn't got very many moves. Spikes, power trip. It's got leech seed. Leech seed is amazing. I'm never going to use payback. Sand attack. We'll get rid of sand attack. Okay, now we're in business. If only I'd known we could do this before.
attacks by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target, this also leaves the target with paralysis. So that's considerably better than Thunder Wave, innit? Because the other one actually does damage. Yeah, nuzzles. Why would you not have nuzzle? Damage and paralysis. Confusion. Thunder shock. Electro ball. I don't think that's very good. We'll give it more offensive power. I think Slowpoke armed with... Another thing I want to check out, what is the... how do we look at the ability? This Pokemon sticks to its own temple, preventing it from becoming confused or being affected by Intimidate. Wow. That's good. Boost the Pokemon's evasiveness in a sandstorm. Contact with a Pokemon may burn the attacker. Powers of fire type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. And intimidate. Yeah, I think we've got a good ability with this, this slow poke. Can't be affected by confused, that's amazing. I'm gonna keep this in my team. Right, so we've got water gun. Purse. A move that has different effects depending on whether the user is a ghost type or not. Right, we don't really have much. Although I would like to learn Yawn, because I think it's impressive. Disable. For four turns, the target will be unable to use whichever move it last used. I'm going to get rid of that and give it Yawn. Oh, we are top tier now. Right, let's get back. Side duck. Sorry bro, but you're going to need to die. Right, one last thing before we go, I'm so close to levelling up. Let's see if we can find a, a bunch of Taurus things to fight. Because Gyarados can unleash hell. Boom, look at all this XP. It's going ape shit. Gyarados hates everything, and I love more and more the more for it. Pikachu leveled up. Come on, keep going. Murder everything! Right, let's go. Let's get back to base. Right, so what we'll do is, first in next episode, we'll go and do the gym leader here. What do we need for it? Electricity. So we don't want water. We've, we've just we've just switched out water Pokemon, which is a nightmare. Um, slow poke. We'll get rid of you for now because you're not going to be handy in this upcoming fight. But that will because it's grass. Put you back in. Now, out of curiosity, um. Also got leech seed. Energy ball.
Level 27. You can't do the moves thing from in here. I think that's actually quite a weak Pokemon. Let's see what moves it could have had. Nah, it's not very good. Maybe this gets better afterwards. But for now, no. Right, so. What we're going to do is. We're fighting. Electricity. King Prick goes first. You can go second. Fire's probably okay against electricity. I think we'll be able to beat them with this. Right, let's heal up. Nice. Right lads, I hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one for some more gym badges, gym leader destruction. See you there lads.